Detroit has its share of music legends, and this weekend, the legacy of one icon will continue in the D. That's right. Jay Dilla is considered by some to be one of the best music producers ever in his genre. And nearly 13 years after his death, the effort of his mother are key to, carry on, to carrying on his legacy. Photojournalist Alex Atwell introduces us to Ma Dukes on tonight's Uniquely Detroit. As long as he had music, he was happy, and that's what made him tick. I'm Maureen Yancey Smith, mother of the late, great James DeWitt Yancey, also known as Jay Dilla, also known as JD. Well, my son, gee, where do I begin? Well, I'll tell you, he has two displays in the Smithsonian's New Museum for African American History. So that should tell you, it's been a short but great journey that he lived. So what is it like to be with, with that equipment? It means that it's like, a, say, a, for an astronaut to be in his machine. And he knows that he has a journey. And he has the right tools for that journey. Dilla had all the right things, and he made sure that he had all the right things. He didn't have it done to the max, like some people. He had it done to the minimum because he wanted to use his mind to create better. And that's the difference. He never stopped, he never slept, he just worked. Uh, work was his food, it was his energy, and it was his life's blood. Most of his music had jazz influence early. His hip hop would always have a taste of jazz. But that's because <laughs> his dad was a, a jazz musician for 25 years. Sound and everything was a science for him because he was different. They say that he invented neo soul. Uh, he was the first to have the neo soul exper experience on records, but it was because they were coming to him. Artists were coming to him to Detroit from everywhere. I want parents to listen to their children because there are no boundaries where music and the arts are. There are no boundaries that they can do greater things and they can be different. They can think beyond what we've done already. You know, creativity is like just infinity. It's awesome. Music just has a richness and a healing power that nobody can put their finger on. And I, I'm grateful that he was able to contribute to the world. You know, it's not just Detroit, but all over the world. And it makes me proud. <laughs> Dilla Youth Day, which includes live performances and hands-on workshops, is scheduled for this Sunday, February 10th, at the Charles H. Wright Museum. That's right.